ride out here and get some shots. Are you? Yeah. Well, first gear. I mean. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. What's gonna happen? Like we're going six miles an hour. I fell I... off my bike worse than this. And then I ran you over. No, I'll jump. It's, I'm not gonna. Is that gonna stay shut? Well, probably. <laughs> but I'm not gonna die. This is the way I wanted to die anyway. Here's another, uh, another installation of shit work on the Fury here. Uh, this is the covers that go on the inside of the rocker panels underneath the carpet uh, to just kind of, uh, I don't know, they just, whatever they do. The one side it covers the wiring and I think the other side it just kind of finishes out uh, the shape of the interior. Here we go. So that one's not bad. Uh, a little rusty, kind of grubby. So that's all got to be clean and nice, and uh, I've done one of the sill plates for the door jam, and of course you can see these are very marginal, but they're all I have, they're two door only, uh, so I'm going to use them for now, they can always be changed if I find better ones. So that's been uh, kind of treated with acid and neutralized, and that really shined up. Here's what we started with, and you can see, not a great piece, not great at all, but uh, Luckily, the worst of it is actually on the inside and the seat sits pretty close to there, so the part that you see will probably be just barely acceptable. Anyhow, not too worried about that. Let's get those cleaned up. Uh, these are going to get cleaned, sanded, and painted black because uh, they're completely hidden underneath the carpet. Just uh, more evidence that the last 10% of the car takes to 30-40% of the time. Most of these old cars have a divider between the uh, back of the back seat and the trunk area and uh, usually it's just a piece of thick paper board cardboard type of thing and of course in the case of this car uh, rotted away to almost nothing so I made a new one out of corrugated plastic that puts a uh, black uh, roofing uh, what do you call this stuff moisture barrier or whatever anyway uh, Alex donated it to me and that is a fine product. It's certainly a lot heavier and better than the original. Hopefully add a little more sound editing. I'm really trying to make the car nice and quiet. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go chuck that in. Then we're going to keep going with the uh, with the interior here. Right, easy enough. Let's see how it looks from inside the trunk. Oh, there we go. Certainly not going to notice that. Meanwhile, I'm going to uh, clean out the interior and start thinking about how we're going to put uh, the wiring shields on and uh, kick panels. I've uh, got the wind lacing sewn, so there's definitely uh, a full evening of good times ahead here. Okay, we've reached a pretty pretty awesome milestone on the Fury here, and it looks like it's time to start putting some Fun stuff in the interior here. I have in front of me a blue carpet. That's awesome. Uh, let's see how it goes. I should say a special thank you to Phil De Catanzaro in uh, in Ontario who uh, located this. And I guess there was a it was some kind of eBay special where it had been ordered and not picked up. And uh, so that's great news for us. And thank you again, Phil, for. For finding this it's just an unbelievable Phil has been uh, insanely generous to this project in this show so thank you so much Phil let's see how it goes buddy so uh, to recap this is about how far we got we got all these sill plates on both sides uh, very good so sound deadeners in rear uh, divider is in I'm gonna take all the tools out of here and then we're going to try laying the carpet in. If the carpet goes in, we've got sill plates. Obviously not great, but better than nothing. And I've got the kick panels. Yesterday I put the front wind lacing in here. And that's all 
back together now. That involved taking the windshield frame off again, so a little extra work, but nevertheless, that's looking good. These I just had to make because the original stuff would have been a, a uh, bias cut woven piece, but again, not a complete and uh, total factory restoration, so we're not too worried about it. Just want something that's there that's not garbage, so right on. Let's uh, clean out this car. Well, that is actually fitting quite well. Uh, still a bunch to do, but getting there. And uh, next is, uh, we can see the uh, rubber at the base of the steering column there, fits over top of the carpet, and then the uh, there's a flange from the column to the firewall that can be screwed down now as well. And we can see I've got the passenger side kick panel mocked up there, and that's looking very good. So we're going to carry on here. Next time we see this, the carpet should be installed, and uh, then on to assembling the seats, and in they go. Still hoping to see the uh, road here by the end of the month. Uh, obviously the car would have been finished a long time ago if we hadn't built uh, multiple other cars in the meantime. Nevertheless, that's going along very well. So, uh, I will carry on. Had to fix the R5 this week. It was running fine and then it just stopped and wouldn't start. Turned out to be just the coil wire had uh, decomposed and it was in such bad shape I don't know how the car was running at all but I was having some high speed or high RPM uh, miss and cutting out so I'm hoping that it's solved that. I haven't driven it since I fixed it but that's good news there. Love the little R5. You up today? Yeah. Well, let's go. Got the carpet roughly just thrown in. I haven't really made any permanent fastening yet, but I'm going to let it just relax here. It was pretty wrinkled up. And I thought one piece that I'd really like to get in, just because it's been sitting on the kitchen counter for ages. Thought maybe it would be fun to uh, put the back seat in, or at least part of it. So let's see how that goes. Not going to get super optimistic, but uh, it's got to go in sooner or later. some pliers here. Oh, I hate being interior stuff. Jeez. So this has to go in before any of the armrests or anything can go in. So I thought, let's just see. Oh, it's going to be so tight. These stupid door panel interior panels are so delicate. Oh my God. Okay. First off, am I insane? No, it should go. handy. I want to say a uh, very special thank you to Mr. David Wallace who uh, got tired of watching us uh, work by phone light and sent me this handy little magnetic light in the mail. Thanks very much David. Very kind of you. We are definitely guilty of, uh, of using phones. Not because they are good lights but because you always have one on you. And except right now I don't. But I'm gonna try and get under here. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Just a quarter inch. Come on. 
Okay. <sighs> One more little bit to go here. Oh my god, really? How is it that far off? Okay, finally, oh, there we go, let's see, oh, I don't even want to sit on it, it's too nice, oh, ho, ho. yeah, <sighs> that will have to get taken off, okay, well, the seat sits down a little further than I expected, so where I, uh, taped the front apron on the package tray and some of the tape is visible so I'm going to have to trim that. Other than that, we're okay. Right on. Well, there's the first uh, bit of upholstery I've ever sewn that I put in the car. Uh, very happy with how it's looking so far. Obviously got the rest of it to go but it is quite rewarding to see something in there that's uh, not just most turds and rot. You know, it's not meant to be perfect. Again, the thing with learning and doing it yourself, my policy is that the first attempts all go in. Um, so, uh, the next car will be better, but this is not bad. Certainly very presentable for this car. Really uh, quite happy with that, and I think it's going to look very good once we get the rest of it in and clean it up. There we go. See, it's got a little bit of a custom flavor to it, so that's cool. Oh, <sighs> Well, we're closer and closer, guys. Closer and closer to be in a car. I'll leave it there for today. And uh, really happy to see the first bits of upholstery going in. Okay, back at the Fury. Uh, today I want to uh, install the seal around the steering column which has to go uh, through the carpet, or rather the screws, have to go through the carpet and hold it all against the firewall. So of course it's going to be just a nightmare of trying to line up screw holes through carpet and insulation and sound deadener and the usual bullshit. And so I'm looking forward to a really fun afternoon of lying under the dash. I think while I'm there I'm going to hook up uh, the brake switch that was in the Dodge, I have been having no luck getting a, a pressure switch. I know that they're out there, but anyway, uh, in the interest, uh, the thing is that the Dodge, you might remember, had uh, cruise control installed. So there's a later model switch in there to uh, that they modified to turn the cruise control off. So uh, that switch is still installed and still nothing wrong with it. So. I might make that little change just in the interest of getting things finished here. Uh, I'd like to see the carpet in today, maybe the sill plates, uh, kick panels, you know, every piece of it just takes forever. So I'm going to start with uh, this uh, nightmare and then uh, we're going to have to punch a hole through it uh, and get the gas pedal back in. That's going to be another one that's going to be not much fun. I may have to jack the car up. Let me get under there. Uh, we'll have a quick look and then I'll spare you the profanity. So, I've got this nice little gasket that just slides down, but then the real friendly one's underneath here. So that's cool. Holds everything up nice. You can see I've got the original sound deadener still against the firewall with the original clips and everything still in it. So that's all very nice. And we'll get the carpet installed and then i got to cut a hole here for the gas pedal and one over here for the high-low. The little grommet that would be there is not there, so I'm going to have to find something. And then we're going to double check that all of our wiring is good. You can see the wind lacing is installed here with all the little tiny clips. It's a good thing we had so many parts cars because very few of those survived. And I was able to put it all back together, so that's good. I think there's a thin piece of uh, fiberglass insulation that also goes behind there. 
I've lined the uh, kick panels with uh, sound deadener as well, so they're not all teeny. So really want this car to be quiet. I think that would be the measure of success here. I can see that I've got some dashboard stuff to still reinstall here. Uh, looks like looks like we've got at least a couple of screws to go in there. Time to button up the under dash area. This is much easier to work on now than after the seat goes in. So I'm going to just keep hammering at this. There's a bunch of little stuff to do because every screw has been out of this car. So we have to be absolutely sure that we get it all. Anyhow, the nightmare continues. Hey, lights test. Okay, brake light test. Uh, I'll probably test the signals. Let's test the signals, brake lights, and park lights. Let's see if we got anything at all here. Okay. Okay, brake. Park. Uh, park and left. Park and right. Break and right. Break and left. Park, break and left. Park, break and right. Park, right. Park and left. No signal. Break and park. Yeah, it's a cool car, man. We were talking about how these things in 10 years, the magnet was getting them by the roof. You know, look at all the quality, look at all the engineering that went into just one piece. It's amazing when you see how much engineering has gone into the body and the, every single piece. Of this yeah. Thing. Like it was all just destroyed, you know, all completely destroyed because it was updated. Unbelievable. Now everything's all just cranked out. It's so genericized. That it's, well, know. they all look the same. Oh, sure. Okay, there are nine fucking trips later. Oh, the tool should have been right beside us the whole time. Got the seat looks great. Yeah, there it is. Looks nice, eh? <laughs> no, no, what? I got a little fun with it. And that, 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 that pattern reminds me of the light shades my parents had in the 60s. Yeah, it's supposed to look like a custom yeah. job from yeah, the 60s. Yeah, kind of like so. from 62. You know, a guy decided to bring his car in, you know, yeah, exactly. soon after, year after, maybe. Kind of. And. Okay, okay so you ready? No, not yet. Okay. Straight back is right. Okay. Down. And down. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yep, that was easy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we can't fuck anything up. There's nothing to scratch. Not really, no. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, let's see. Can we See it visually what we're trying to do? Pull it back towards you a bit. There we go. Oh, nice job. Oh, yeah, the rubber was long gone. Yeah. The rubber. Yeah. I made one out of vinyl. That's true. Yeah. Sewed it into a T shape yeah, and slid it into the channel. Good for you. Wow. 
It is bad. Yeah. So what it is is it's. Is it bent more at the like, bottom than it is the top? Like is this pushed in? Like, I mean the shape just isn't the same. If you were to, yeah, I if you were to yeah, trace that out, you'd go what? I don't like that. That that one looks. You mm -hmm. know what? It looks like it was maybe really bent and then fixed mm -hmm. and fixed poorly. Hey Tom. Hey, that's the sick girl. What's happening, Tom? <laughs> Did you get your mower running, buddy? Yeah. And is it running good now? No, I only ran it for 20 seconds. It ran great. Yeah. So. Well, that's a pretty short cut, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Like, and I don't mean in height, it's I mean... Uh, I'm not going to go test it for, for an hour, so no? just see how it goes. Well, see how the girls if make it, out yeah, with if it. If it fucks up, then whatever. Yeah. So, so, you need help holding this up, is this no. what you're... Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just you're just a man. <laughs> so what's the bumper doing? It's too cold. Uh, I just didn't like the way it would fit. So they're both identical. Yeah. Four and three quarters. Yeah. So this one's in and that one's out. And seven and a half. Okay. So they're both a half inch wider and they're both. So let's just grab that other bumper. And let's try it. Or we put the end caps. Or we put the end caps for that bumper onto this bumper. Or, I don't know the condition of the bumper. Why it's not as good as this. Okay, well then that's what we... Are we live streaming this? Yeah, always live. <laughs> yeah. 300 views. Shit work live. live. Shit work live. Seven people watching live. <laughs> All right. Live, we are cleaning the seat runners for the Fury. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Riveting stuff. This and should have been done audience. four years ago. Did you clean it with ginger ale or what? Just rinse, just rinse. Rinse with ginger ale? Rinse with ginger. That's my secret for concourse winning. Rinse. You want some uh, fresh? No, but we need something with a little attitude. This thing's like, we let's just, get it done. Just get her fucking head. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wow, okay. hey, 24 hour live. Oh, that's a red out. spring one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very rare. Canada only. Yeah. We'll be back shortly. We'll be back <laughs> after the work is actually done. Oh, look at that. We can do better than that. Hmm? Zoom in on that. Huh? Look at that. That's it's horrible. fine. Fine. <laughs> oh, what happened with well, the summer's truck? Summer's whistling by here. <laughs> what happened Let's go. with the truck? Oh, yeah, where's the status of that? Yeah, where's my truck? Where's, <laughs> where is my truck? What happened truck? to my truck? We're working on the truck. There's just like, oh. is the bill at five figures yet? Yeah. Oh, it's getting close. When it's more than I paid, call me and I'll come pick oh, it up. Yeah, well I, I actually had to buy a, a, a parts Cummins. Yeah. <laughs> just for parts. Don't Well, buddy. Thanks, man. See you next time. Yeah, cheers.
welcome to another episode of Oh My God, You Want Me to Drive What, Scott? with Laura. Today, on that particular show, we will be driving Scott's piece of 1926 Model T. We're going to take it for a scenic little drive somewhere where I can't get killed or kill anybody. That's, that's what we're going to do today. All right, we're at Laura's uh, scenic uh, farm-like retreat set. Just built this. We just put this up. I hope you guys like. We whistled up this 1906 grain shed, and we've uh, planted a 80 or 90 acres of canola for just the right background. I so picked some pigeons. We got the pigeons are only flew rented. Away. Like what the hell? We had those pigeons till three. Where did they go? Anyway, we're gonna have to do without the pigeons. Look what we found in the shed. Oh, it's a Model T Ford. Look at that. Laura has never driven a Model T. This is legit. She's getting in it. We're going for a drive. First try. Um, I won't make her crank start the car just because there's There was enough. something about breaking arms or dislocating shoulders, and I just, you know what? I'm already in physio. I yeah, just, it's just yeah. like, let's not compound fracture. I mean, compound the danger. Yeah. And Laura's worn her totally not inappropriate at all. What happened to your model t-shirt? What's that? I replaced it with, don't you... Come on, aren't you a member of Freshwater Invertebrate Geeks? Leave us a note if you know what the hell that shirt is about. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try to get the tea started. The car afternoon. seems to be behaving. Mm -hmm. We've only had to stop twice to fix very minor, minor things so far. So far. We don't have any idea what the one word is going to be for this car, so... Uh, I've got a few got contenders. Got a few already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Right? I'm sure lots of people had one word for these cars when they were new. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Alright. First impressions? First impressions are... What the hell did they put that there for? How do I even get in? That's my first... My first okay. Let's wait. Oh. Let's wait. Did you make it? Whoop, oh my god, don't start I just... It. Touch something. Sorry. <laughs> ah, There's a few what's tricks. This lever. Good God. What were they? I'm in. Are you going to explain from out there how to do all this? Because um, I got sunglasses on. I can't actually, actually see what That's actually not a bad idea. What's that? Okay. okay. You ready okay. for the starting procedure? <clears throat> uh, yes. Yes, I am. There's no. <sighs> no, there's no cup holders. There's no GPS. <sighs> This, yeah. Is this the talk button? That's the talk to the car button. Yeah. Am I going to electrocute myself? I don't you even just want to touch push that. push on that and swear at it, and then it, nothing happens. I'd like high lung in my jean, please. No. Nothing's happening. Fine. All First right, thing, here we go. both the levers to the top, right? So like One little antenna. Yeah, antenna. There are they up. are, like, woo! That's, <laughs> that's where we're... That's safe, safe mode-ish, yeah. Okay, there's a lever here, there's a pokey thing there, there's a pokey thing there, there's a pokey thing yeah, there. There's three pedals on the floor and the button. What's this do? That's the choke slash cool. mixture control. Oh, don't touch that then. Okay. No, it's warmed up, so you don't need the choke. This is nice. That's the interior light. That's the interior light. Okay. Yeah, the AC is already on full. Whew. Yeah. Uh, pedals are forwards, backwards, and stop. Forward, backward, stop. Is this yeah. a two footer? I use my right foot for brake. And okay. left foot for the other two. That's what I was wondering. That way, you, for your right foot is resting to the right of the pedal, it doesn't right. feel unnatural to go for the brake, right? See, and I'm going to go to the clutch, which isn't the clutch. And then the clutch? The clutch is the gas pedal. Clutch. No, it's not. The clutch is the forward Where pedal. Where the clutch would be is the forward pedal. Right. Which is not going to help you stop. Not going to help you stop at all. So I think of that as hydrostatic buttons and you'll be fine. Yep. You're not going to have any problem with this thing. It'll uh, be fine. It'll be fine. Cheering's so arms are cheering. give yourself like three notches of gas there. Okay. Got it. And then uh, turn the key to the left. Do I need to do anything with this thing? This uh, that should be all the way back. It's all the way That's back. Okay. Turn the key to on, which is to the left. It'll buzz probably. Okay. Maybe not this time. Not it doesn't matter. Buzzing. No, it only buzzes half the time. All right. And then push the starter button on the floor, which you already found. There you go. Whoa. Now pull the left lever down to about 10 o'clock. A little more, a little more. Okay, there you go. There, now we're going. So, 
Uh, now take that lever and halfway. push it halfway. You gotta push to squeeze it first and it'll jump, so make sure you got it. So do I need to have feet anywhere nope, before nope, it jumps? just to neutral. Oh, oh, that's, yeah, right there, about there, good, yeah. There's no stop? It's no, just no, like, no, it's, it's just, just approximately? It's just a feel, yeah. That's a feel, okay. Okay. Do so I rev it up? Give it a little rev and push a little harder, yeah. There you go. Oh. Am I going this way? That's that. way. hold it down otherwise it's like riding the clutch right yeah you're right you'll okay, burn it out yeah. i'm not it's all very foreign yeah so actually very simple to drive right you give it a little more timing once we're moving there you go that's it so you got a long straightaway now so keep your foot down on the floor yeah push the lever all the way to the front while keeping your foot on the floor there you go all the way, yeah, there you go. On and yeah, on. That, yeah, that's it. Okay, and, and then now we give it a little gas. Little gas. Okay, and now, then now right. push the gas up and then let off the pedal. Gas All up. the way up, yeah, let off the pedal. There right. you go, now push then, it back down. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 push no, the gas down. Uh, there you go, yeah, there it's you the go. Opposite. Oh, this yeah, we might not have been going fast no. enough. That's okay, we're going. How do I gear down? Uh, Quite a bit faster than I'm comfortable with. Okay, there. If you want to go slow, just pull that back to neutral. Okay, how do I do that? Yeah, just pull it to neutral. Pull it back to neutral. There you go. Push this down. Push there you go. And this is as fast as you want to go. That's as okay. As fast as I want to go right now. <laughs> yeah, so you got to drive like that's your regular gas pedal. Right. You're always on that. I always so keep one finger on it. It's totally fine. You're okay. Nice. I didn't know the little bridge was there. I kind of forgot. I thought it was little. Right. People used to get terrible leg cramps from driving these in traffic. I can't imagine why. Yeah. What about headaches? Did people get headaches from driving these ever? No. no? As far as I know, what these cars that? never hurt anybody. Oh, man. I feel so safe in here. Oh, and the other thing is that the red line is like 1,500. There's bike. There's, There's no tack. No but just feel it. When it starts to sound like it's going to blow up, it is. Okay, I need to stop. Okay. 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 okay, so this is... Yeah, if down. you want to stop, just let go of everything. Just let go of everything, pop it into neutral, and then put on the oh, brake. Yeah, except that you're, whoa, whoa, except, you're, you're holding forward and brake oh, at the same crap, time. It's the clutch thing. It's not the clutch, yeah. It's not the clutch. No, you let go of everything to stop. Just, so. so I stalled the car uh, because I wanted to make sure we stopped before I hit, hit the, fence. the gate. Yeah. That oh, we, that's fine. Uh, just put in. So how's so, it going so far? It's, Easy, uh, eh? Super simple. There's. Uh, <laughs> it's super like, fun. This is second gear slash neutral slash clutch slash brake. Brake. Yeah. This is forward, but not speed forward. It's just forward. It's just first gear. That's this all that is. This is backwards. That's which backwards. I haven't, it's not even. We, so we won't even call it reverse because that's giving it a little too much credit. So this is just backwards. My left foot knows how to do one job. Yeah, it's clutch. No, it's clutch. It's totally different. You and treat this like a hydrostatic or an automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Okay, I should get it. It shouldn't be. But when you've driven a standard yeah, for no, so long, the biggest you thing how to drive. Is, and, and once you're going, yeah. When you see a stop sign on the horizon, then you start reading. It's like an airplane where you're like, yeah. okay, we have the slowing down checklist. You just pull out your binder. And the slowing down checklist is first thing, this guy to the yeah, top. Yeah, remember that. Second thing, pull that to neutral. Pull that. I did and that. And the third thing is try to roll up to the stop sign without hitting the brakes. If you're hitting the brakes in this, you're going too fast or not planning far. The brakes are like brakes. Right. The, the brakes are so it doesn't roll away while you're inside having lunch. Like the brakes are like, are they are yeah. academic concept. I'm gonna get out. Yeah, I'm gonna get out this side. It's an ergonomic masterpiece, the Model T. Fine. If I just fine. do that to get back in, it should be fine. Be fine, yeah. Okay, gate's open. This is the, like, the hardest... Yeah, you gotta just come up with your own way. Still a little faster. There we go. Oh, so 
So good. So good. Okay. Happy little arms. Ears, ears at the top. Cheering arms are up. Woo! Right? Uh, turn it on. It's not a clutch. It's not a clutch. So turn it on. Okay, there. Buzzing sound Buzzing is good. Buzzing sound. Give it a little okay. bit of throttle. There we go. There we go. As soon as it's running, down to about 10 o'clock. You can hear it get happier, right? There you go. That's happy sound. All right? We are in neutral. You push down to do stuff, right? Right. Yeah, there you go. Now we're ripping. We're going to slow down. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to be stopping in about two minutes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just take my foot off. Yeah, but the first thing is to push up the throttle right. to zero. Yeah. Throttle to zero, take my foot off. Throttle to zero, take your foot off, and then get ready on the brake if you need it. Right? Try back it up. You gotta push it down hard. Oh, I'm pushing it right. Yeah, don't there. push it full yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just like the Volvo. I'm like, it's just it's not a. It's not perfect. It's not a. There you go. You know, like a car of subtleties. No, okay. it's an implement. Oh, my God. There we go. I didn't hit anything. Woo! so far oh uh awesome yes yes that being said i'm gr uh, i'm glad that uh they don't uh they don't make cars like that anymore so we've taken a little uh mid drive uh sanity break here so any questions so far this is a 1926 26 uh the last model t's was this so 26 27 yeah kind of thing. virtually was... the same yeah and then the A came out. And then the A, yeah. Yeah. Did they overlap? Did A and T overlap? No, they actually oh, shut down the whole factory for months. Oh. Because the cars were so different. So. Oh, okay, okay. There was, yeah, very little. So they had to retool everything. So if you were to compare this to the very first T in 19... Eight? Eight? Yeah. 1908, what... Do you know what those were like? Like they were the like. It would be very similar. What if they yeah. actually looked like this, or did, were they the classic? No, they, the, the well, they had they were, and the... They looked very similar, but they were you know obviously the fenders were flatter, and they had brass radiators and and uh, you know, but the same to drive. That's the thing when we're driving this car, and uh, Matt and I were talking about this, the. You're actually driving mechanically. It's a 1908 right. car. So right. when you see how weird it is to drive, it's because in 1908 there was no standard yeah. for cars. He was so, just, yeah. And that was why this car was so obsolete by 26, 27. So the Model A is a completely different animal. Like it has a regular three-speed transmission. It has a clutch. It has brake in the middle, gas pedal on the right. It's a totally modern car. So who who invented that? 
Was that? I don't know. You uh, don't, you that don't know? kind of came in. I, I mean, somebody knows, but I don't. But that. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of other cars by the mid 20s were three on the floor with a clutch on the left, brake in the middle, gas pedal on the right. A lot yeah. of guys put gas pedals in these. You can see why it's kind of fussy to yeah, play well, with it. But I, I kind of like that. If that's what you're used to, that's it would make perfect sense. Yeah, it's and just, so I'm keeping it that way. Yeah, no, for sure. It's fun, terrifying. It's verifying. It's terrifying. Yeah. I don't know. It's terrifying. Ton terrifying to drive. All right, we're gonna go do a few more laps so that we can come up with the perfect word. Although terrifying is not bad. <laughs> So have you figured out the best way in yet? Yeah, I uh, been thinking about it, and uh, this is. Hang on. I think this is the most efficient way. I went through this side. Look at that. No levers. Put in. All those. Hang on. Oh my God! I keep doing that. Why do they put that on the floor? scares me every time. Hey, the air conditioning's working now. Oh, Got good. Park just in the right angle. There. Sweet. Yeah, where's the horn? Right there on the side. Oh, there's the awuga. No, you don't have an awuga. Yeah, I do. Is, yeah, is I it? put one in. Try it. <laughs> That's the best. Right? Yeah, it's cool. I love that. Okay, rock and roll. Rock and roll. I don't really feel like this is a rock and roll kind of thing. Not really. Like it's more a, of a square dance. Yeah. yeah. More of a square dance kind of car. Get the banjo. Hit it. Here we go. Hit it. There we go. All the way down. Try not to pull that a Go for a cruise to the field. Put the door off. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Alrighty. We're going to do top gear today. Top gear. Not the show. Not quite Just yet, the though. attempt. I <laughs> think I'd rather do the show. I'd probably rather do. I'd like to do the Top Gear uh, fastest lap in this car and see how it would do. Yeah. Half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, push right. the lever all the way ahead. And then throttle off and lift up. There you go. And then throttle oh, back on. Oh, and there yeah. you go. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. There, eh? Look at warp speed. Now yeah, Laura starts to get more uncomfortable. How fast? Down, then you, all neutral. the way up with the throttle, everything starts with that, and then neutral. Neutral, if I can find the stick. If you can find it, yeah. And, and then, then you'll and feel it bump up on the cam, and then... There we go. Are we good? Yeah. <laughs> there, see? That was easy. Holy. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! It's the only car that makes 15 miles an hour feel really? like a Absolutely real adventure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stick with first. Yeah, nobody. Uh, I feel like I'm in an old movie, like seconds before somebody dies. You know? Oh, Jesus, I thought we hit a bird. It's your fault. Oh, my fault. I feel like that would be distracting driving if I was to answer. There we go. I'm comfortable with this speed. There's a bridge coming up. Full We're going bridge. to the old bridge. All right. Okay. So you want to get out of the throttle for downhill, yeah. then you can just roll if you want. Yeah, that's, I'm feeling comfortable with the uh, Yeah, you get good at the throttle and the rolling. Yeah. And a little yeah. throttle and back into gear. Oh no, we're good. Get over the hill, so to speak. There we go. There we go. And rolling oh, across the old bridge. Nice. There we are. Oh, oh, oh. oh kind of up. Nice. I feel like this isn't the car to go burning in. Like wildlife no. watching might be a tad difficult. Yeah, you know it's not I mean? a real stealthy car. Let's see if we can sneak up on that elk up there. That sort of thing. Right? Okay, solo mission. Ready? Nope. Hit it. Cheering arms. Yeah, a little bit of gas. Always. A little bit of gas. Gonna bring there that go. down. Yeah. I'm gonna turn Key it until it buzzes left. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I hit this on purpose. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Timing to 
10 o'clock. Okay, we are back and uh, you can see that we have both survived with minimal broken limbs and cars not on fire or boiled over Woo! or on the back Win. of a tow truck. So yeah. winds all the way around and uh, Laura is uh, actively searching the classifieds for her own. Yeah, actually right? there's one for sale. <laughs> actually, Laura's neighbor right has one. Right next door, yeah. yeah. So we're, uh, so I was older. hoping to convince her to buy one and here we are. And here we are. You know I don't what? know if we've done it. I don't know. Uh, um, well, first, second, and third impressions were all very, very similar. I'm sure as we carry on, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh impressions will be um, equally similar. So first impression was, well, hey, it's still standing. It's, it's awesome. I mean, this car has been around for close to 100 years which is almost as long as I feel like I've been around some days, and uh, it looks amazing. I mean, it's rough, but that's its, that's its character. I actually really like that. I'm glad Scott didn't paint it and take all the dents out, because um, I think it's great. Drivability? Poor. Uh, but again, considering its age, I, it did quite well. We're in the middle of a field. I didn't manage to crash it into anything, which I'm pretty proud of. Thank you. Ergonomics? Um, out of 10? Has to be a positive number. I was just going to ask you that. Yeah, positive number. I'm going to say 0. 0.3627. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I figured you'd give it a 0. 0.4. Yeah. Yeah. So I was so. just just a little shy of your expectations. It does it's have true. a seat. It's true. Um, that kept it in the positive numbers. Yeah. 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 The, the, um, Getting in and out of the car was difficult. Uh, well, yeah. Unless you use the passenger side, which is great. So. Yeah, I think they were they were criticized for that even when they were new. It's 
having the shifter brake lever thing right where you step into the car is like is ridiculous. You pop it into whatever. I don't. You can hit it into gear. Anything can happen. It's yeah. really run your family over. You can again. Yeah, a lot of people right? died from these cars. Very, I, very rarely is the ergonomics a lethal feature. Yeah, yeah. There's so, multiple lethal features on this car, though. So yeah. that's why we're driving in here and not yeah. on the. Not I couldn't get her on the road this time. Nope. Next time, maybe we'll get her on the Probably road. Probably not. I thought that she'd go around and be on the road. Nope. Nope. I've got a family. Whoever invented the shifter, you know, on the tree or on the floor and the clutch, they get my vote today. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this yeah. was obsolete. Even in 26, most cars had a clutch pedal and, and at least three gears. Yeah. yeah. This car mechanically, fundamentally unchanged since, oh, what do we say, 08? 08. 08. Yeah. So a lot of what you're driving mechanically is, is almost 20 years older than this car because they just didn't change it. Ford was quite content that this was all you needed and that's all you get. And he was right up until about 24, like 20, then Bill Gates other cars saying, started to yeah. sell better, yeah. But why do you need more than 64K? Yeah. 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 Famous last words, right? Yeah. yeah. Who needs 64K? What are you gonna do with all that? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and did you come up with a word for this car? I did, I did. Our word today, uh, we're, we're pretty proud of it. Uh, so confundifying, confounding. The car was confounding. It was also super fun, but terrifying. And I couldn't think of one word. No particular trait overwhelmed the others. No, no. It's not so fun that you're going to forgive the other features. <laughs> yeah. It's not so terrifying that it's not still fun. But it was confounding. And it's confounding if you're used to driving virtually any, any other vehicle. Any other vehicle yeah. that runs. And, and if you've been driving every vehicle in the world since you were 16 or 14 or 12 or whatever. It's actually, it was fun to find a vehicle that Laura had any trouble at all getting used to because it's pretty hard. You'd have to, I think you could probably fly the plane easier than it was to teach you this. So. Yeah. It is a bit hot. It's also that we couldn't fit the word hot as hell, don't lean on it in there. It's delicate and yet it's incredibly tough. We yep. were pounding it through some pretty good hills there. And, it's delicate uh, because it's a hundred years old, well, yeah, close to yeah, hundred years old, yeah, right? But yeah. I mean, this car has seen some yeah, very no. undelicate work. So Well, that's the yeah. fun thing about this particular car is it's had a very, very rough life and very, just a, an odd coincidence that this one survived. Somebody put it away. Um, most of the cars that got treated like this one got scrapped usually before the Second World War or certainly during. So to find one in essentially Second World War condition that is still drivable has been a, a treat and uh, I mean I just we couldn't think of a better day or place to film this car than here. And fantastic uh, canola field mm -hmm. looking really good. We'll, uh, we'll bring you guys up to date when Laura gets her own. Yeah, just scrap the rover. You know what? Ditch the rover. Yep. It's for sale. The hell with that. The yeah. hell with that. I'm, uh... <laughs> We're going to wrap it up. Laura has things to do. I like to pretend I have things to do. I like to fix Laura's other car. And so we're going to get back to work on the rover. And uh, thank you for joining us on... Another episode of... Oh, my God. What the hell are we driving today with Laura? Okay, Bjorn.
is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. Too hot? Can I go inside? Okay.